I was asked to write the molecular geometry, bond angles, and electron geometry for PCL4 plus here. So let's give that a try. What we need first when we look at molecular geometry, we need a valid Lewis structure. So this here is the Lewis structure for PCL4 plus. If you need help, there's a link in the description and at the end of this video how to do this. So we have our Lewis structure. We can count up what's called the steric number and figure out the molecular geometry. That's the number of things bonded to the central atom, the phosphorus here. We have one, two, three, four things bonded to the central phosphorus. So we go down to four and we don't have any lone pairs. If we look at these bonds here between the phosphorus and the chlorine, all of these are chemical bonds. They're shared electrons between atoms. There are no lone pairs on the central atom. So we said steric number four, no lone pairs tetrahedral molecular geometry and the bond angle 109.5. Let's look at that in three dimensions. So the purple, that's the central phosphorus atom. Let's add four chlorine atoms. One, two, you see they spread out to be as far away as they can from each other. Three, and finally four, and we end up with what's called a tetrahedral molecular geometry. And the bond angle between these atoms, 109.5 degrees. If we want to look at the electron geometry, there aren't any lone pairs, so it's the same as the molecular geometry. It's tetrahedral. You can see that if we added a lone pair, how that would change the shape, change the bond angles in the molecular geometry. But since there aren't any lone pairs, tetrahedral, electron geometry, and molecular geometry. Let's go back to our Lewis structure. You could also figure out the molecular geometry using the AXE notation. A, that's the central atom, the phosphorus, X, that's the number of atoms bonded. We have one, two, three, four. And E, that's the number of lone pairs. But we don't have any, so we could say E0 or just AX4. If you look this up or you have it memorized, it's tetrahedral, bond angles 109.5. This is Dr. B with the molecular geometry, bond angles, and electron geometry for PCL4 at the request of viewer Grace F. Thanks for watching.